Welcome to Conscious Creation with actress, author, and healer, Dee Wallace. If you want to take charge of your life, really take charge of your life, the next hour will be a fun, enlightening experience in creating the life you want. Whether it's money, health, success, or relationships, join Dee in celebrating the power of you and see your life expand into joyful creation. To join Dee now, call 319-527-6305. And don't forget, Dee can also be heard on BBS Radio, iTunes, the Empowerment Channel at the Connect Me Radio Network. You can also hear Dee on Get Inspired Media Network, Transformation Talk Radio, UBN, Universal Broadcasting Network, plus News for the Soul Broadcasting. And now, here's Dee. Hello, all you amazing, fabulous, incredible, magnificent, so very loved and darn sexy people. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a time. What a time. What a time it is. We are blowing so many things open. It may look, the world may look like a chaotic mess, um, but be assured that the light of love is working, especially if it's working through you. We have a responsibility, you know, to bring that forward and touch other energy and add to the energy of love in this world. Do not go outside of yourself. Do not go outside of yourself for the reason to be happy and to be in love. And don't go outside of yourself to use those reasons not to be. Just don't go outside of yourself, guys. You don't need a reason to be happy. You don't need a reason to feel love. You don't need a reason to decide to feel good. You just have to make the choice to do that. You know, um, I was asking the channel, so many people can't just do it. When they get the information, they can't follow it. They've got a question and doubt, and which keeps them exactly where they want to move out of. And literally, the channel said they don't believe it, so they don't do it. Well, that's what faith is all about, guys. You know, if you have enough faith the side of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. But that's knowing, that's staying in your knowing, that's having the faith, that's going, okay, um, the channel or my own knowing or the God energy has given me um, the simple advice about how to create my life, living in love, holding the focus, feeling good. So now I'm going to have faith that that's the answer. And I'm going to have faith that that's the answer long enough until it actually shows up. So I'm asking everybody on the show today, can you come forward today claiming, I believe it, so I see it. I believe it, so I see it. And it's all within me. Okay. All righty. So, uh, my gosh, guys, our webinar so amazing, such amazing information about how to align yourself so that you literally can receive what you're creating. Again, if you're not in alignment before you take the action, then the action is limited or thwarted. If you hold yourself in alignment You still need to take action on this plane to create what you want. Okay? So that's how it is. Alignment first, action second, receiving third. Now, the private sessions I've done this week opened up, um, well, they're correcting me. Actually, the webinar opened up all of this understanding that came through in the privates this week. So let me quickly summarize all of our work right now. They're saying everything is based on love. Love 
creates everything. Wellness, success, um, health, abundance in anything, divine right relationships. Love can also create the negative. God, love, interchangeable, okay? You have to choose what you want to marry love with. So if you really like being a victim because you get a lot of attention, that's probably not the love that you want to match. I'm sorry. It's a, hold on, I'm waiting for the word, a disturbed, that's an interesting word. It's a disturbed definition of love. And that's what I want to get to because what came in during the privates were all these limiting expressions of love. And if all of the great creation is based upon living in love and we have limiting beliefs around love, then you, obviously you can see we're going to run into a wall. So the first one that came in was I'll never be good enough if I love myself. They had put together love with something that was going on or had gone on when they were little with a family member and the two of them had gotten collapsed. So if I love myself, I'm not ever going to be good enough to do what I want to do. You can see again where the wall is. The second one that then that came in is living in love is misdirecting my energy. Well, my God. Okay. So that means every time I move into love, my subconscious is saying I'm misdirecting my energy in some way. Which, by the way, the definition that my for myself. What does that mean? Well, that means that if I live in love, I can't stand up for myself. I can't argue for myself, right? I can't um, come forward and argue for my limitations because when I live in love, that's not what love does. Love creates. Number four, living in love doesn't make sense because I'll never be good enough if I live in love. So there's the struggle, the belief in the struggle. So, again, we know that there's probably millions of these belief systems around love. So we're coming together, and please do this consciously for any limiting belief systems that are in place around love. We are claiming I am wellness. I am the light of love. In other words, we are healing the fear of love with love. I love it. <laughs> I am the parallel trajectory, which all the information about being the parallel trajectory came in on the webinar on alignment. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love. And so it is. Okay. So also I want to remind you the information that came in along with all the other information that came in was when we move into this parallel trajectory and claim love around whatever it is we're working on, we do that for all of our loved ones who have passed over, for all energy anywhere. Uh, when we do that, there is no negative energy that can touch us. And so it is. Um, also, one of the great things that came through the webinar, I mean, every caller, every single caller added something else. All things are possible when you are in alignment with love around what you want. 
All things are possible when you are in the alignment of love around what you want. I love the money. I'm in alignment with the love of money. I'm in alignment with the love of my body. All righty. Um, I want to announce um, to you also, I just scheduled the next creation station, which is the entire training and such a fun weekend. Of course, guys, just like the work, this training will be different than last year's training, which was so advanced from the first training that we had. And the dates are August 31st, September 1st and 2nd. And, um, you know, everything is, I mean, room is very limited because it's here in my house. Um, A lot of people stay here. Some people choose to stay in a hotel room so they have a little bit more privacy and and uh but it's like a big family sleepover. And we commune and we have fun and we just rock things out. So um again I can only take like about twenty two people. So it will be on the e blast tomorrow. If you're not signed up for the e blast, guys I encourage you to do that because I connect the information from Sunday to Sunday through the e-blast. And sometimes when you see it in writing, you get things in a much different way than if you just see them um, or hear them over the, the line. Okay, can I go to the calls now? Yes, I can. We're going to start with Paula in San Francisco. Hi, honey, you're on. Hi, thanks for taking my call. Uh-huh. And happy happy Earth Day. Yes, thank you for our beautiful Earth. Yes. And we love, love and honor it always. Yes, absolutely. Um, I just wanted to say that um, that I, I really love this community, and it's, just, it's really neat. And I, and I was just thinking about it this morning, and the, the, and the, I guess the metaphor that I was thinking is like a, we're on a, this train together. And, you know, we like every Sunday we pull into the creation station. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I know. And then instead of like people getting off the train, it's like our baggage. We're leaving our baggage. And then, you know, the show ends and, we, and then the train leaves the station out for another week. And then we come back in and... I I feel like the train, you know, it's getting lighter and lighter, and it's sort of like following that parallel, the parallel line. Yeah. I I don't know. It's just. um, I love it, Paula. I just love that analogy. Wow. I know. It just. It it just makes me feel so good, and it's so accurate. You know that we're dropping off the baggage that we don't need. Yeah. That's right. And then another thing thought that came is like rather than just d- dropping off the baggage, we actually open it up and let out those low f- vibrations so that they can like, you know, resonate higher and go into the light. You bet, sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and feels- when, when we live in that state of love, you know, I'm just going to keep hammering it because they keep hammering me, you know, to – just to live in that state of love if we could just have faith. So I am in faith that love is the answer. I know that love is the answer. I'm going to live it so I have the proof in my life. Right? Yes. And and, and I actually, and I do have a question about okay. at work, you know, because at work it's like, you know, my group is in kind of like um, in turmoil in a way. But um this one person that I was really, you know, we were doing walks and all that, and I think she's very upset by what's happening, and so she didn't doesn't want to go on any walks with me anymore. And so I'm feeling like I feel bad, you know, and it's like what can I do, you know, in an alignment way of um, kind of like helping, you know, and, and, keep, and, 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 and like putting a bunch of love around all of this. Well, Paula, you've got to hold yourself 
in a state of love. And the first thing I heard from the channel was keep going on the walks. You, but you see, she's allowing something outside of her to upset her so she doesn't live in the state of love for herself. Don't right. do the same thing. Don't let her be your catalyst to leave the love of you. And I have been going on the walks by myself, you know, but, uh, and, and I'm kind of like, like, kind of like, I'm trying to like drop these hints. Like, you know, are you ready yet? Are you ready yet to come with me? She'll let you know, Paula. Okay. you're, You're trying to, there's an element in here where you're trying to save her. Exactly, and that's well, not my business. Not your business, not, not your job. Yep. And they're giving me, you know, do not throw your pearls before swine. Yeah. You you brought her part of the way by your modeling and your love. But now she's a distraction for you around your mm-hmm. own love. And we can't right. ever, we cannot allow that to happen, guys. You just keep loving her and staying in love. And if that is powerful enough for her and she's ready, you know, she'll she'll come, sweetheart. She'll follow. Because yeah. people who really are walking the talk and want what they say they want, when they see it, they've got to follow it. Right. But a lot of people, and I can tell you this from doing years of private sessions, say, I, I want to be free, and they don't. They just want to argue with you about why they can't. Yeah. Okay? Is there yep. anything? No, there's not. This is really more your lesson than hers, is to yeah. look to yourself and just keep sending her love and know that she's in the perfect right place for her. And she'll expand when she wants to. Yes. Thank you. Okay? You bet. Mm-hmm. You bet. Yeah. I know it, it can get confusing, that little place of helping and give, kind of giving ourselves up to enable them to stay where they are. Yeah. As, yeah. Letting them have their sovereignty and you keep yours. You bet. You, yeah. Well said. Well said. Thank you, baby. Thank you. That was a great start. Hillary in New York, you're on. Hi, beautiful. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty fabulous. What's <laughs> up? Um, one, I'd like to thank Paula because and you. Thank you very much because that was um, that. I needed, really needed to hear that because I was going to ask two questions, one on uh, <laughs> a recent I triggered somebody recently. Um, and, uh, I know where I end and, and she begins and I didn't yes. want to, uh, and I also, uh, I'm not going to treat someone like an emotional invalid. I know she is amazing. I know she has it in her and, uh, I was going <laughs> to ask, but I'll just, I'll just keep loving her and seeing that she's making a conscious choice. Well, uh, they actually would like you to ask the question that, that came up. About her or about the other yes. question? No, about her. My, my question about her is the balance between, if you know, uh, I want to respond as compassionately as possible uh, and, and act as compassionately as possible while not treating someone, while not, I don't want to do the pattern, Anymore. All right. I don't I want to hear. I don't want to hear any more of what you don't want to do. Oh, okay. I only want to hear I what you want do want. To, I want to respond as compassionately as possible. Okay. And, Let's talk yeah. about compassion, because yeah. most of us have been taught that compassion is kind of uh, wallowing love. Poor little thing. Oh, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Oh my God, what can I do? What can I do to help? Right? Isn't that where most of us have been taught compassion lives? True compassion. I want to treat her like a strong person, like a capable person. Well, you want to see her that way. Yeah. And then then she's more able to see herself that way. Yes. 
But you can't make her be that way, Hillary. No. Yeah. She, you know, she's got to choose. But that, just like us, when somebody models for us something that we want to be, then that reminds us of us to rise up to that place that we want to live in. Ah, thank you. Love that. Sanders, okay. So yes. that's, that's true compassion is I see the greatness and the awesomeness and the magnificence in you. And I will keep seeing it so you can see it yourself. That's oh. really true compassion. I love it. Thank Good. you. You bet. Yeah. Thank you. That You know, guys, when I say things like that, I'm learning right along with you. I, I didn't know those were, I didn't have any idea those words were coming out. And I had no idea of what the true meaning of compassion was until the channel just brought the words out of my mouth. That's why I love all of you in this community, the way we participate, because we expand each other, you know, and it gives me the opportunity to go, my God, am I an awesome channel? <laughs> Lynn in Los Angeles, you're on, babe. Hi, how are you? Nice to hear from you, honey. How are you? Yes. Oh, I'm doing really good. It's so good to hear, I mean, to listen to you and then get on. And Oh, um, so um, what people have been talking about, what helps me and um, I've gotten <laughs> – is that um, I I will I see somebody and I'll start to write like all the attributes I like about that person, not when I'm with them, and or when I'm with them in my head, and then I focus on their wellness, and so that doesn't put me because if I I can't be miserable enough to help someone that's miserable feel better, you know what I mean? So it's like when Jesus said when he was in front of somebody's sick, like he didn't see their sickness, he saw their wellness, and in that vibration they raised up to his, and he said don't tell anybody because if you start to talk about some stuff to some people, it can sway you if you're not used to that vibration. So I'm feeling like, um, so that's helped me, is to write those things about somebody, and then when I'm with them, they actually, those things are what come out. And if well, yeah, they're, because you know, they're, not only are those the things that come out, those are the things that you're allowing yourself to see, Lynn, because you exactly. direct, by writing down the attributes, you have directed your brain to see the good things. Yes, and it continues my good feeling, which only, like, it's like it's service of others. That's why we thrive so much. Is that exactly. correct? Okay. Well, well, yeah. you know, it's resigive. When we serve others, others serve us. So yeah. it, it's really what I, I just said, you know, to everybody that I've just talked to. It gives me an opportunity when you guys come forward to hear what the channel has to say, which in turn gives me the opportunity to teach and, and enlighten and expand and not only you, but myself. Right, exactly. And that's, that's the beauty of Resigive. So what is your question, Lynn? Um, my question is, where am I? I can still feel like literally like a little tiny bit of resistance. And to I'm what? not sure uh to completely uh, taking off if i can say if that makes sense well like, yeah because think, you you have you can it, you can take the words take off and put in the word live and love we have for four of the very good things that i explained to you at the beginning of the show so right we just want to claim I am the God of me that is in alignment with all the positive, beautiful, expansive definitions and receivership of love, right? 
Yes. And and that really is divine love because that's all divine love is is pure love. Right. Meaning and the one thing positive love. Oh. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. And and the last thing that we when we talked I was working on was turning around when I get everything I want I'm bored. And turning that around to when I get everything I want, I'm happy, excited. I'm thrilled, I'm expansive. I'm yeah, I'm excited. I'm just joy and and love. And so it's been like about six weeks, <laughs> and and I feel like that's already like turned around. And yep, it has. Um, and oh, good. And that parallel um, trajectory is that what you yes. were calling it? Yes. Is that was. the same thing? Is that the same thing as things already manifested energetically? It's already done, and then we need to, like, match up with that, like a parallel well, of I, that, and then it manifests? I can't go into the whole thing on the show because I don't have time. You know, we went into – they explained it from A to Z on the, on the alignment webinar. But basically, guys, and everybody listen here. Stop what you're doing. You're already there. Do you understand? Everything that you want is already in the field with you. (laughs) But you have to choose it and focus it on that just like your list. Your list of all the good attributes about somebody else, try writing that about the universe, Lynn. Okay. You understand? That sounds great. Yes. That you can yes. choose God, the energy, the creative force is everything, good, bad, and indifferent, because there is no bad. There is only experience in God. But we have been taught, and so when we use these words, we automatically go back to the sense memories that are incorrect, the definitions that are incorrect. Just Feel good, live in love, choose what you want. Don't ask anymore what's wrong or why can't I or any of this. Right. How can I bring the state of love into this more? I've got an audition tomorrow, right? And there's Uh a, a lot of things about auditions that have happened lately that have taken me out of loving auditions. Now, I know if I go in tomorrow without loving auditions, I might as well not go. Okay. You got that. Uh, Yes, I did. Thank you so much. You bet. That's why, you know, guys, I keep saying to you, if you want money, love money. If you want a, a great relationship in your life, love the guys or the girls you want to be with. Love it. But if you drag in all the assholes you've been with, you're not in alignment with finding that person, period. All righty, Leo, Lee in Morro Bay. Hi, honey. Hi. Good Don't want to call you to Leo you. there. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> What's up? Oh, everything is lovely. Absolutely delicious. Good. Um, I uh, wanted to come on this morning just to... Um, remind you of how grateful we all are that you share so much love and joy and knowledge and wisdom with us from your heart every single week without fail. It's just, oh, (laughs) thank you, Lee. I'm so grateful, really grateful. Thank you. It it matters. Thank you. Yeah. So appreciative. Um, Really, and, and just, just an ongoing prayer of gratitude that never ceases because it's just remarkable what you bring to our lives and well, the lives we bring, of so many. And it, again, thank you, Lee. I hear you, and my heart really accepts that and appreciates it. And again, guys, say that to yourself, please. You know, I honor you and I love you so much for what you're bringing to me speaking to yourself, because all of you choose to show up here every Sunday morning. You choose to read the e-blast. You choose to do the webinars. 
you know, if you don't do that, you can't get the information that the channel's giving. And if you don't do that, you don't bring out half the information that the channel has, you know. So we are definitely um, um, interrelated community that's expanding together. And that's pretty much the definition of God and all energy. So thank you, Lee. I appreciate that, love. You're welcome, and thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, very touched. Thank you. Phyllis in New Mexico. Oh. You're on. Oh. Hi, honey. Oh, hey, Dee. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I stepped away from my spider. Um, no, I just, I'm just kind of wondering why is my arm still hurting? It's like the left one. It's just... It's just been uh, so much pain. Okay, that's the right question. Look, oh, Phyllis, can you hear anything, honey? It's just too loud. Yeah, sorry. Let me go outside. Earth Day. All the people are. Do you have out a song? On Earth. Can you give me? Do a I have song? a song? Um, yeah. Oh, I have the same one. It's a long way to Tipperary. Came up. Yeah, okay. Do you have the faith in the belief system that your arm can stop hurting immediately? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, I get a no on that. And I get a no from most of us that creation, God, I just read something in the I am ascended master book let me see if i can find it that okay here i go no permanent release from bodily disturbance can be had so long as the mind or attention is allowed to be drawn to the condition from which one wishes to be released with many natures The same thing is true of denials because the more they deny a thing, the more they bind it to them. For in the denial, they are letting their attention rest on the very thing from which they wish release. So basically, you're you're just too focused on it. Okay, that resonates. I, it does. It resonates with me, too, about something that I'm working on. But you see, in our minds, it doesn't make sense that we can heal something if we don't focus on it. What's the answer? What can I do about this? 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 Instead of I am wellness, I am the state of love. I um I am the light of love. I am the state of love. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love around wellness in every area. Literally, they're saying that's all we have to do. And and that, you know, I just happened upon this, looking through this book while I was waiting for the show to start. And I hardly ever pick up this book anymore and it literally fell off the bookshelf so I picked it up and brought it back here with me because when things like that happen on show day that means I'm usually supposed to use the book and here we are so which book is that which book is that again Dee? It's, it's called the ascended master instruction ascended master saint germain it's part of the I am series of I am discourses. Um, Jeffrey Ray King wrote these. It's volume four of the St. Germain series, Ascended Master Instruction. So in other words, guys, know the thing you want to bring into balance. Know the thing you want to create with love and then just creating love the state of love around what you want and if you're worried about fixing something we are not in the state of love 
around the thing we want. Let me read that to you again. All things are possible when you are aligned with love toward what you want. So what you want is your arm to feel great, which is part of wellness. Feel love around that, Phyllis. Okay, I got it. Hold, see if you can hold your focus there. Yeah, beautiful clarity here, guys, for us today. Thank you, Phyllis, for bringing that yes. one in. Thanks, Dee. Yeah, I needed that one. Um, Maria in San Francisco, you're on. Good morning. Thank you so much. Um, you're, you're welcome, beautiful. <laughs> that was sweet. I'm trying to be really clear on what I'm asking, and I, 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 I'm trying to figure out what to do about where I go for my health care. I'm trying to follow my instincts. I had a non-epileptic seizure on Friday when I went to the health care clinic. They took me to the emergency room. I didn't want to go, but I went because maybe there was something else going on. I was treated cruelly by somebody there, and I'm trying to figure out, one, how am I supposed to handle all that because of the okay. abandonment issue Maria. that happened before? And how do I take care of myself going forward to get well, the resources? Out? The the first thing they want you to know is you're not going to yourself. You are your highest answer, but you keep going outside of yourself, and then you get people that don't give you the answer that you want because you're not going within. So did you hear what I just said to Phyllis about any kind of physical Uh, problems or healing yes okay so you have to look away you're so focused on the seizures right now that literally you create more of them so I I want you to go to your love place and bring in that love around the wellness of you I am wellness I am the light of love. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love. Okay. So they also want to give you some practical advice. But again, guys, taking action without being in alignment will bring in things that are either limited or thwarted for you. So you have to be in alignment first. Okay, naturopath. Regular doctor, neurologist, any of that. Um, Okay, well, what I'm getting right now, Maria, is to help you release any negative energy that might be attached to you. Now, when we claim I am wellness, I am the light of love, All negative energy, when you are in alignment with love, no negative energy can live in your field. Does she have a belief that keeps her from doing that? No. Okay. So, Maria, now I'm asking because I've talked about it on several shows. I've talked about it to you. I've talked about it on this show. And it's a true statement that you have not done it yet. So if you want to get what you want, you have to choose to have faith and live in your love place, making the statement, I am wellness, I am the light of love, around the abandonment, around the seizures. It's wellness in every section and subject of your life, guys. But you have to do it. So let's all do it together right now. Go to your love place. I am claiming for myself. I am wellness. I am the light of love. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love. Guys, that's all I want you to use. Can you play with me? Can you have enough faith? 
to play with me on this and focus on it and commit to it for four to six weeks. Now, they're saying, Maria, that's the first time that you've really done it. What? Um, that, sorry. I'm... Where were you? No, I'm spasming, and I'm trying to remember what you're saying, and I'm trying to write it down. Okay, it's easy. I am wellness. I am the light of love, which literally means we are healing our fear of love with love. Okay, I am wellness. I am the light of love. I am the parallel trajectory. Think of rocket ship going up of divine love. I parallel all of divine love. I rise with it. I choose everything from it. I am it. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love. Okay. You play with that, only that, Maria, from four to, for four to six weeks. We just Can you commit, everybody, to four to six weeks of that focus? Yes or no, Maria, can you? Uh, um, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Love you, sweetheart. You can do this. Thank you. All right, we're going to Katina in North Carolina. Hi, honey, you're on. Whoops, you're not on. Hold on. <laughs> now you're on. Hi, this is Katina in Greensboro. I just wanted to thank you for an awesome show. It's just so great to um, actually connect with someone on the same path. It's awesome. And it's just well, about thank you. Path. Confirmation. I normally listen to it, listen to your show on the archives because I'm at work and I can jot down notes and just play it over and over and over and over. But I said I was going to commit to get on the show today just to just to give thumbs up. It's awesome. Well, sweetheart, thank you. I can feel that joy and that excitement <laughs> bursting out of your heart, and I love it. <laughs> thank you so much. You just I bet everybody listening to you has a smile on their face right now. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, it's just so refreshing. When I came across this station, I was like, wow. And I just play it over and over and over. And I was telling my my husband, Jess, I was like, this lady is just on point. You would not even believe this is here. It's like a treasure. It's so rewarding and it speaks to the soul you know well thank you sweetheart i'm so glad you are part of this community and i am so glad you called in today to raise us all up baby thank you so much you're welcome we love you thank you you too take care and thanks again you bet oh my gosh you guys are just making me feel awful good today and we're going to Eileen in Brooklyn. Hi, honey, you're on. Hi. Well, it's nice to talk to you. Always. What's up? Well, you know, a lot of um, what everybody else has been saying um, is is what I wanted to say to you. Um, the the um, the stuff going on with my sister has gotten worse, and we're sort of at a stalemate. And um, we're not talking. And um, Okay, Eileen, the first thing I hear is you've got to look away. You have got to pull your focus and your attention back to you. Yeah, I've because done, doing that, yeah. No, I get a no on that. Really? Yeah. yeah. That you, sadness is the highest word they're giving me. That this is creating a... A state of sadness in you somewhere. Yeah. Well, and and what they are urging you, all of us, again, can you have the faith of love to yeah. hold yourself? Because when we say I am wellness, I am is our I am presence, which creates everything for us. Wellness 
means wellness in every subject. Mental, physical, spiritual, chemical, cosmic, emotional, and dimensional. So when you say I am wellness, I am the light of love, it incorporates all of the relationships you are in. And you are claiming I am the state of wellness in this relationship. Do you understand? I do. Okay. I, mean, I went through a period of just saying, well, maybe maybe it, my relationship is done with her. Well, and it needs to be until both of you get into alignment and it's much more of a, yeah, well, struggle. They won't let me use another word. She's yeah. in a lot of struggle with herself. Yes, she is. Which, which ma- makes her in struggle with everybody that she's in relationship with. I mean, yeah, I know. Okay, so you know, guys, the the challenge is to love and support when we can, while we never take on the vibration of the other person or thing that is a vibration that does not match love. So how Uh can I stay in the vibration of love and still uh, be friends with this person? If that's not possible, you've got to look away so that you can stay in the vibration of love because you'll go down, Eileen. I know. Well, that's why I am looking away. Yes, and I'm I in the channel. <laughs> the channel just said to me, "What's the difference?" <laughs> <laughs> me, the channel, and I are giving you permission to do that. Don't feel guilty about doing that, honey. I don't. I'm. You know, it's just it's it's making my body sick because no, it's no, me to be. No, the state of love does not make your body sick. The state of love brings you into wellness. So hold on. I think there's a belief here around what we talked about at the first of the show. Hold on. Sheet. Book. Give me a movie. Hmm. South Pacific. Yeah, okay. That's funny because they usually take me to a play to go get to... So are we going to it doesn't, okay. Again, they're saying it just doesn't make sense to us that we could bring ourselves, uh, bring a relationship, bring money into our lives by living in love. We're supposed to save people. That's what makes sense. We're supposed to struggle. That's what makes sense. We're supposed to worry Worry about other people. That's what makes sense. Those are the things that allow us to rectify everything. But it's wrong. It's wrong, guys. And you know, the channel has said many times, the biggest sin you can do against another person is to worry about them. Because all your focus is on what you don't want for them then. And they see that. And then they can't rise up to the higher vibration. Again, the channel is saying, Eileen, can you live in the faith of love? Just yes. live in the faith of love and give it a shot. Okay? Give it a shot to be in the space of love. Consistently. Yes. Whenever you think of her and you start going into any negative or limiting place, you pull yourself back up, you go to your love place, and you go, I am wellness, I am the light of love, and every thought I have about you is love. And then move on. Then okay. move on. All right. Okay? Absolutely. Okay, please. Let's just try a little faith here. <laughs> yeah, the channel is singing that song. Have a little faith in me. <laughs> they're, very, they're very funny today. Okay, thanks, Eileen. Okay, Thank it's up you. To you now. Up to you now to hold that focus. Okay, baby. 
I will. Thank you. All right. Wow. I, I, I'm thinking this is this is the show where we're we're just getting it all right now. Okay. Let's see. Hold on a minute. I have hands up, but I have no names. So, um, area code eight one five five zero eight. You're on. Oh, that's me. That's Reha in Montana. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Um, you know what's come up for me lately, and I realize um, the other people that are on the other floors in the house that I'm living in um, uh, have been gone for several days, and it's gotten really light because it's just my energy. But then one of them came back, and I feel really heavy. Nope. Yeah, I, nope. Nope. I don't want to feel heavy. <laughs> well, I know then what do you want? Um, what I want is to have my energy lead. Okay. And not be affected by other people's energies. No, you, know, it's you, were, you were doing fine till you added the last part. Not? Oh. Yes. Um, that tells your brain to focus on other people affecting your energy. And other people can't affect your energy if you don't let them. That's, remember one of the first things they said at the very beginning of today's show is don't go outside of yourself for a reason why you can or a reason why you can't. So let's just fill that whole house with love and around all the energy of that house, which means all the people in it too. We claim I am wellness. I am. I am. Not they are. I am the light of love. I am the parallel trajectory of divine love around all the love in this house. That's all you focus on. Okay? Okay. All right, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Do it, guys. You've got to do it now. You've got to do it. Because to know... And not yet to do is not yet to know. You have to do it to truly experience it. All right, area code 972489. Uh, you're on, and I've only got two minutes, so get right to your question, please. Who is this? Area Leah? code 9. Yeah, hi, it's you. Hi, honey. Hi. Um, you've been talking about I am the light of love. Yes, and I've been doing I've been doing my morning I am, and I keep finding myself wondering what your concept of light is. <laughs> I'm well, kind of my darling, all you are is light. If you yes. want to research it scientifically, all anything is is light. Okay. And God said, "Let there be light," because there couldn't He couldn't create anything else until there was light, because everything is. <laughs> created from light and lowered down into physical manifestation through thought and focus. Okay. Okay. So when you say I am the light of love, that means I am the beginning of the creation of love. I am all that is in the creation of love. I am, you know, the God of me that is love. That's that, where that, we have that's to... exactly that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's thanks. okay. Great. It's it's the beginning of the everything. Yes. And okay. it's us. And it's us. Right. Great okay. great that's question. The thing I have on my little I am list. <laughs> what a great, great, great question. Yeah, thank you. And a beautiful end to the show. Thank you so much for calling in with that one. Thank you, thank you. Bless you, you bet. Bless you too, baby cakes. Bless us all, everyone. Wow. I'm like flying from this show. I am flying. I am the light of my love, that's for sure, of all love. Oh, my God, you guys rock. Can you just even hear in the vibration of the show how far we have all come even from six months ago? in living this light of love. You've got to feel it. 
I can hear it. I can hear it over the airwaves. It's it's beyond exciting to me. Okay, so everybody, it'll be on the e-blast uh, creation station August 31st through September 2nd. There's payment plans available. My gosh, talk to anybody that's ever been to any of them, and they'll tell you it's a life-changing weekend. So if you want to come and play and expand and have fun and, wow, do a lot of personal work, join us for Creation Station. And if you really want to get um, more definitive information, the alignment webinar is still up. Go get it. You ain't going to regret it until we meet again. Let's say it together. I love myself. I love myself. And I love myself more because I know that's what it's all about. Thanks for joining Dee on Conscious Creation. Visit her website at imdwallace.com for awesome downloads, archived shows, enlightening webinars, and amazing free offerings. And remember, you can hear Dee every week on BBS Radio, iTunes, the Empowerment Channel at the Connect Me Radio Network. You can also hear Dee on Get Inspired Media Network, Transformation Talk Radio, UBN Universal Broadcasting Network, plus News for the Soul Broadcasting. Be sure to join us next week for Conscious Creation with D. Wallace. And remember, loving yourself is the key to creation.